everyone, Suzanne here. Welcome back to my Tomb Raider Chronicles playthrough. Today we are playing through the level 13th floor. So firstly, I just want to start out by saying thank you so much to everyone who wished me well the last week. If you didn't see my community post, I've been really unwell. I'm still not good, but I'm back to recording and we'll see how I get on. But I just wanted to thank everyone so, so much for your lovely wishes. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have anything black latex in my wardrobe to do a cosplay for this level, but I did just put on this black top. And also I have this amazing iris necklace. Now, I am not gonna put myself full screen because I do not want everyone to see how sick I look right now. So I just filmed a separate close up of the necklace. <laughs> it's a really, really cool necklace. The person who made this is called Crofty Mema and I've bought a good few necklaces from her. Anyway, I just wanted to give her a shout out. Not sponsored or anything. I'm not big enough to have sponsors, but I do believe in giving people credit where credit is due. So Crofty Mema mainly sells these necklaces on the Facebook Tomb Raider buy and swap group. So I will link that in the description box below if you do want to go and purchase some of these yourself. They are really, really cool. So at the end of the last video, I kind of cut off the cutscene, cut it in half. So we are going to start off this video by watching the rest of that cutscene. Ah, the infamous trophy room. And you will be doing the acrobatics to enter, Winston, yes? <laughs> Miss Croft did enjoy her little games. And here it is, gentlemen. The artifact which led to the animosity between Miss Croft and Von Croyne, ending ultimately in this terrible business. Okay, Miss Croft, I'm presuming by the lack of communication that your industry is building, right? Containing our little prize, the Iris? Affirmative. Right. Now this is what you're good at, yeah? Time to switch roofs. Switch rooms. Easy to say from the ground floor, <laughs> wouldn't you agree? Come on now, stiff up the lip, top hole and all that. Time to get hip with zip. Gone. Yo! Jimi Hendrix is back! Laura! You there, Laura? Croft! Are you getting this? Limey. Jeez, now that was a blast. What the hell happened? Never mind, Yankee. I'm going in. <laughs> So the cutscene shifts back to Croft Manor. The three men walk through the entrance hall of Lara's estate. They stop in front of a mirror and Charles Kane comments that this is Lara's famous trophy room and jokingly asks Winston if they will be doing any acrobatics to enter. And that is obviously a hilarious little throwback to I think both of Lara's trophy rooms really, but mainly the one in Tomb Raider 3 where you have to, you know, sprint into the room before it closes. That room looks very similar to the one in this cutscene. So I think they're referring to Lara's trophy room in the Tomb Raider 3 Croft Manor. Winston reaches up and pulls a light fixture, opening a concealed door behind the mirror. As Winston leads the way inside, he says that Miss Croft did enjoy her little games. Winston then points the men towards a covered display case and says this is the artifact which led to the animosity between Lara and Von Croy. Winston pulls the cover off the display case, revealing the iris, which again we saw in Lara's trophy room in Tomb Raider 3 Croft Manor. The scene then shifts to New York City sometime before 1998. I couldn't find an exact date that this takes place, but we have to assume it takes place before 1998 because Tomb Raider 3 happens in 1998 and Lara already had the iris at that point. Lara is attempting to break into Von Croy Industries or VCI for short. So Von Croy Industries is the Von Croy family company and it is owned by Von Croy Sr. and his son Werner. 
So Lara is attempting to break into VCI headquarters in order to steal the Iris artifact, which Von Croy is studying. So remember when we left Von Croy in Cambodia when Lara was 16 years old? Von Croy took the Iris when Lara warned him not to, and he got kind of like uh, trapped inside that, I don't know what it was, like a big disco ball or something. It closed and trapped him inside with the artifact. So firstly, how did Von Croy survive and how does he have the iris? So in these levels, it will be shown that the iris artifact appears to have teleportation powers. So it can basically move itself and other objects from one place to another. We can assume that this is how Von Croy survived and how he ended up with the artifact. So he got trapped inside the, I don't know, was it like a Terry's chocolate orange? Like, it, it, I don't know, it closed up anyway. It was a big ball and it closed. So we can assume that after that happened, Von Croy was teleported somewhere else with the iris artifact and he was able to return to Von Croy Industries with it where he is now studying it with his scientists, I presume to figure out what it does and all of that. But unfortunately the iris just really still remains a huge mystery, that's all we know about it. And I couldn't find any more information on the studies that they were doing on the iris or anything like that, it is just said that they are studying it. For what purpose, I do not know. So back to the New York scene. Lara's colleague Zip is in a surveillance van close to the VCI headquarters. This is the first time we meet Zip in the Tomb Raider franchise. We'll of course see him again in both Legend and Underworld. So it's a slightly different version of his character in Legend and Underworld, but it's kind of the same basic concept of the character of Zip. So a little bit of info about original timeline Zip. So Zip was born in New York City in 1974 and showed an aptitude for computers from a young age. He was the youngest person ever employed by Von Croy Industries. However, his illicit hacking into the FBI database made him the youngest person ever fired from Von Croy Industries. After he was fired, Zip set up his own surveillance company. Lara Croft approached Zip when she was in need of someone to help her break into VCI headquarters. Zip jumped at the chance to work with the famous Lara Croft and also to get back at his former employers. Zip talks to Lara via a headset and tells her that she needs to switch roofs to get to the VCI building. Lara, who's on a nearby roof in a black cat suit holding a hang glider, says that's easy for him to say from the ground. Zip gives her some encouragement and Lara takes off, gliding over to the next rooftop. Now I say Zip gives her some encouragement, but mainly Zip seems to just irritate Lara. It's very funny. As she glides onto the neighboring rooftop, a sudden updraft causes Lara to nearly lose her footing, but she manages to roll onto the rooftop to safety. Zip is concerned, but as Lara rappels down the building, she tells Zip not to mind and that she's going in. She shoots out a vent cover and climbs into the VCI headquarters building. Okay, so I'm both really excited and really nervous to get into this. VCI headquarters, in my opinion, for me, are the hardest Tomb Raider levels. I usually run out of medipacks. I cannot aim properly to do headshots on people, especially on a keyboard. But honestly, I couldn't even do it that well with a PlayStation controller. So yeah, these are really difficult for me. So we'll see how I get on. I'm in. Okay, now let's see what you can do. Follow the vent to the main corridor. You come in at the 13th floor. Unlucky for some. Unlucky for them. Any welcome party? That's your job, girl. I ain't no X-ray vision superhero. I'd noticed the last bit. Ooh, you are so sharp you're gonna cut yourself. Just remember, the less attention, the better. You dig? Thanks. But that thought had crossed my mind. Just making sure you're on the ball, lady. Enough talk. Contact me if you see anything. Whew. 
that girl has got one bad attitude. I like the way she keeps talking, even when uh, her dialogue has finished, like in the cutscene, she keeps making the talking motion. <laughs> Some of the cutscenes in this, I will admit, are a little bit rough. Okay, so just really quickly, Zip and Lara communicate via the headset. Zip tells Lara to follow the vent to the main corridor and that Lara has entered on the 13th floor. Hence the name of the level. Lara asks if there's a welcome party and Zip says that's her job to figure out, but the less attention she draws, the better. Lara says that had crossed her mind. Okay, so let's get started. Um, oh, and yeah, we don't have any unlimited dual pistols here. So we also have to be very careful that we're conserving ammo. So conserving ammo and conserving medipacks, um, which is really hard for me. <laughs> okay, so we should just be able to, yeah, shoot it. I realized that I've put the aim button and the shoot button on complete opposite ends of my keyboard. Um, so I think that's gonna be a little bit of a problem, but I just know if I change it, then I'm not gonna remember which buttons are which. So I think I just have to live with my bad decision and hope that it works out. My life motto. <laughs> you getting this? Whoa, baby, I'm getting too much of that. Looks like the Hulk on steroids. This is another you cutscene tell me what that doesn't make here. sense. Couldn't be sure. They're talking about him I and they haven't even seen him yet. On some new suit. <laughs> and that sure is mom's apple pie ain't no civilian protection can't argue with that and the guns well my picture ain't all that clear but it looks like low frequency laser weapons limited range if you get in the way of one they'll have to take you out in a plastic sack i get the picture oh can we see him Oh, he left. Um, but yeah, that is a cutscene that makes absolutely no sense. They start talking about him, going, ooh, he looks like the Hulk and everything. And uh, I mean, he hasn't even entered the room yet. But anyway, so in brief, we get a view of the room below. A man wearing an armored suit enters. Zip tells Lara about the suit and its weaponry, which are lasers with a limited range, but a lot of power. Okay, and there's a lot of um, parts to this level where, you know, if you make certain choices, different things will happen. So I'll try and point out as many of them as I can remember. Like, I'm not gonna do every single option, but I will just mention it um, when, you know, a different option is available. Woo! So I have no idea why Werner has lasers like this um, in his headquarters, but he just does. Ugh. Oh god! Oh! Oh, it stops just before. That's fine. Um, oh yeah, so there's lasers there as well, so they will kill you. Fun times. It must be so fun to be like a maintenance worker in this building. It's like, yeah, everything will kill you, but you know, have fun. <laughs> okay, some ammo. Very much needed in this level. Look at her little backpack. It's such a weird shape so odd why is it so long why is it so narrow i don't know and a hammer so i'll explain the significance of that later <laughs> we don't need it for now but i do really really love her look in this level it's so different uh, to like what she usually wears. I really like it. There we go. And even more lasers. Okay, go, go, go.
go. Great. Ooh. She looks so cool. She looks like she's in the Matrix or something. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, and that armored suit guy is just gone. Um, and he won't come in here either, so this is just to get a secret. Uh, oh yeah, and I think I forgot to mention as well that um, these, or did I mention? I don't know. These levels uh, notoriously just have a ton of bugs. I think they were kind of unfinished, honestly, um, or rushed. Oh no! Oh for God's sake. This is what happens when I try and talk and play at the same time, or talk and do complicated things at the same time. Um, but yeah, so... If you save in... Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I give up today. Okay, let's try a run and jump. Oh, oh God, get down. Oh, for God's sake. Right, go, go, go. Finally. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you save in the wrong place, sometimes it can cause, you know, game breaking bugs. Basically, you can't finish the game and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, it probably would have been helpful to look up where the don't save places were. But there's so many of them in these levels that, oh my god, where did that come from? They weren't there before. How can she be going ah when she's dead? Guys, I'm not happy with this. I am not happy with this. Not having this today. But yeah, so there was so many of them that I just didn't bother looking any of them up. So basically, I'm just going to save it where I think is okay and hope for the best. And I've got loads of different save slots, so... I mean, it should be okay, but who knows? No point in worrying about it. No point in worrying about it. Right, what's happened here? How do I... Oh, sugar. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Right, how am I going to do this? So if I jump over that and then duck. Right, let's give it a go. Hang on a second now. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Duh, no. Oh, for... Maybe we should do duck then jump. Oh, for God. Jump! Duck! <laughs> I've lost so much of my life. I'm so upset. No, I think I can do that better. Let me try it one more time. Duck. Jump! Flip it! go okay so that that was actually okay i only lost a tiny bit of life to be honest i don't think it's gonna get much better than that so i think i just have to be happy with that how much did i lose just a little bit just a little bit that is the best we can do today 
You get a spider shop in there, and it's poop. Find some way to turn this off. Don't get your knickers in a twist. I'm on the case. What I have to work with? Don't knock it, lady. I'm your eyes and ears. More of those and less of the lip would be prep. <laughs> so that is cool. That is really cool. So there's the iris. So Lara finds the room in which the iris is being kept. She asks Zip to find a way to deactivate the force field protecting it and he says he's on it. Okay, let's keep going. Oh right, so this is the first point in the game where we have a choice. So here we can either... Ooh. Okay, so that's basically showing us your man in the big suit thing um, who's in the room below us. So here we can either shoot the lock open or break the lock open with the hammer we picked up. Now, if you use the hammer, the door will just open and you can continue on. No big deal. If you shoot it, this vent will collapse, dropping us into the room below and we'll have to fight the guy. I think you miss a pickup if you just open the thing with the hammer. So I'm gonna shoot it and get dumped into the room below uh, and try and kill the guy, even though, like I said, I'm really bad at aiming the gun. It's really hard for me on the keyboard, but um, do you know what, we'll give it a go. We will give it a go. What? What the hell? Maybe I stood too close. Hang on. Do if I stand here. Oh my god, I loathe these levels. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me live. Oh, oh, jeez. Hang on. Stop it. <gasps> I didn't even have a chance to aim my gun. Right. Now, can you let me? Oh, stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop- oh my god. No. Stop it. I have to- hit him in the face. Hit him in the face. <laughs> Hang on, maybe I should choose a different weapon mode. So what about burst mode? Let's try it. Oh, oh my god, he didn't notice me this time. Okay. Okay, let's make this count. This was a stroke of luck. <gasps> yes! Haha! <laughs> yes! Take that! Oh yeah, I'm happy. I'm saving it. Don't even care if there's a bug, I'm saving it. So yeah, obviously the much easier thing to do is to just use the hammer <laughs> and avoid that situation altogether and um, yeah so I hope now that I haven't uh, used up too much ammo or anything I'm doing good on life though doing great really good Um. so yeah we'll just see what happens won't we oh all oh, right okay <gasps> oh my god Was that supposed to happen? I'm not having a good time. <laughs> I'm not having a good time doing this level. Oh my god. My soul left my body. I need... I need help. 
Okay. Oh, why won't you grab? There we go. Thank you. Right, let's go. Go, 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 go! Go! Oh, no! No! I was too... <laughs> I can't... I can't even speak about this right now. Can you please just grab... Just grab... Thank you. So then I can't go any higher or I'm going to get hit with it. But she can't climb past it fast enough. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, okay. That's good. Right. The stress. The stress of this. I don't think I even had this hard of a time doing Lud's Gate. And that's saying something. Right, ammo. Gimme. Oh, right. This is... Okay, we need to shoot this guy. Okay, so if this guy sees us before we kill him, he's gonna run and activate a machine gun turret. So we need to kill him before he even knows we're here. So let's do it. We've we've got we've got the height now. Let's just lie and wait. Oh wait, no, we're a bit low. We're a bit low. We're a bit low. God, I'm stressed out. Why is he? No, he's changing heights. He's changing heights. There we go. Take that. Stupid guy, changing heights. I mean, I realize he's probably just walking like up here and then back here. But still, stop it. Actually, stop. <laughs> You're just getting angry, Suzanne, in this video. This is, this is, Suzanne is done. Suzanne is done video. <laughs> like, these levels are cool. I like them. I like the kind of theme and stuff, the whole Matrix thing. But, um, yeah, I just, I prefer to watch other people play them. <laughs> You know? There we go. Okay. We're about we're about halfway. Check it out, man. No regard for company security. Sleeping like a baby. Somebody could just glide in and slide that ID card out from under his nose. Somebody is slinky. Okay. So again, this is a point where you get a choice of things. So you can either just kill this guy outright or you can sneak in and grab the card. So the problem with just sneaking in, taking the card and leaving him alive is that when we come back here later, we'll meet two more guards. So if we kill him now, then when we come back, we don't have those two guards waiting for us. So I'm having a hard enough time with this level as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak in first and steal the card just because it's fun. And then I will kill him. Okay. Got it. And then we're just gonna do... We're just gonna do a headshot on this guy. Right. There we go. Done. Dusted. Easy. <laughs> Ammo, much needed. And a medipack, much needed. Okay, that's good. Oh, and ammo. Okay, we got a lot. That's great. 
What was that noise? Okay, so now that we have his key card, we can use the lift. I think, or maybe we could always use the lift. I don't know. I'm actually not sure. Not sure at all with this. Okay, so two guards there talking. Let's crawl so they don't see us and then we'll try and take them out really quick with headshots. Because there's obviously no way to sneak past them. need to move over a little bit. No, the other way. Okay. There we go. That wasn't that bad, actually. I'm quite proud of myself. <laughs> right, and then I think we open this. Okay, and here here is a choice as well. So these workers in suits, they'll completely ignore us um, if we just ignore them. Okay, so I think we press this button. They'll, ooh, look at the iris symbol, cool. Uh, yeah, they'll completely ignore us if we ignore them. They'll just continue on with their work. If you draw your gun, they will start cowering and going, don't shoot, don't shoot. But they will also activate a machine gun. So, and then you can choose like if you want to just run away or kill them. There's no real benefit or point to killing them unless you're doing all kills, which I'm not doing. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave them. I'm just gonna leave them alone. They're just doing their job. They're not doing anything wrong. Um, right, so. I know the security guards aren't doing anything wrong. They're also just doing their job, but uh, they do start shooting at us, which is the problem. Okay. Let me see if I can headshot them from up here. Oh, God! No! There we go. Okay. So what is down here? I actually don't remember. Oh yeah, it's another room. One of these rooms with the workers. Again, there's no point in killing them. So, I mean, we might as well just leave them to it. Uh, so what was that? That was a disc or something? Access code disc. And then I think we just head back up. I don't think there's anything in there. Uh, we just head back up now to where we were, where we shot the sleeping guard. Okay. Um, F16. Oh, have we made our way to floor 16 now or something? I presume that's what that means. Isn't it? Yeah, because this is floor 13. We're back at floor 13. Okay, is there anyone here? Were these lasers turned off? Yeah. Okay. So we'll use our access code disk. All that to open a vent when she can shoot all the other vents. It makes no sense. Well, that rhymed. Right, okay, we get it. We get it, it's exploded. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> Oh 
How are you supposed to avoid that? Right, there's a secret here somewhere. Hang on. How are you supposed to avoid this? Why is it so aggressive? Why is it so aggressive? <gasps> oh, stop! Stop it! Oh my god! Stop! Jesus! I'm not able for this. I'm not able for this. I have never seen those explosions be that aggressive. They're not that aggressive in other people's games, are they? Right, let's just keep going. Uh-oh! You're gonna have to play some fancy moves to get past this quarterback. You got any suggestions? Anything to distract him? I got a suggestion right here. Go find a different way out, because you don't want to <laughs> know what happens when you make the Hulk mad. Indispensable information as always. That face ain't got armor on it, right? Well, that's how you're going to have to do it. You want hard-boiled lady. Now, you think of something. What exactly am I hiring you for? My extraordinary knowledge of security systems and my unsurpassed skill in cracking them. Not to mention my ineffably addictive personality. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I won't mention it. Okay, so just really quickly, zip alerts Lara to the presence of another man in a VCI cyber suit. Now, because we already encountered um, the one where we shot the lock, it doesn't really make sense because we already know how to kill them. But he basically tells us that she should avoid him because his suit is impenetrable. Lara says that's not helpful and then Zip mentions that the face is the only part that doesn't have armor. So obviously, like we did the previous time, you have to shoot them in the face. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he can't hear us running until we get down to like certain points of the floor so we can like run around up here and he won't hear us I think although I don't know my game is being like super aggressive at me today I'm getting all the aggressive AI for some reason okay so we picked up a piece of cloth there so this is where we have another choice of what to do so you can just shoot the guy and kill him but that causes a second guy to appear i need to also shoot and kill him or we can choose the stealth option and we can basically find chloroform use it on the cloth and yeah basically make him pass out and then the second guy won't appear as i said i'm struggling so i'm gonna do the stealth option uh, i like stealth So, ooh. So there he is there. Pretty sure you won't hear us. Yeah, I don't think he hears us if we stay up here. Which is stupid because Lara's footprints, or footsteps, I should say, are the loudest freaking thing ever. How can he not hear her when she's even walking? Like, so loud. Oh, I need to... Key card. How's he not... How's he not hear that open? Like, he's just... I don't know. I don't know, they, they didn't get their money's worth hiring him. Okay, so now we've got our chloroform. And a medipack. Oh, and just more chloroform. Stop it. Stop it. These uh, beetles <laughs> break and yeah, get away. They're draining our health just like the 
scarab things in uh, <gasps> sugar. Just like these scarab things in Egypt. Okay. Right. We can do it, we can do it. Okay, so do we have to combine these together? Yeah, combine with chloroform. Okay. No. Oh, I'm not close enough. There we go. Cool. Uh, I don't know why the chloroform appears to have killed him, but I don't know, it just did, I guess. Okay, this part's really hard, if I remember correctly. <gasps> Holy sugar! I was not expecting him. Okay, well now now I'm prepared. At least. There we go. Haha! -ha! In your face. Yeah, I'm getting really aggressive now because I'm just getting sick of these guys. Absolutely sick of them. I don't I don't have a disc for that. Did I miss... Did I miss a disc? Oh, hang on. What's this on the floor? There's the disc. Oh, he dropped it. Okay. I see. Right. Right, here comes, here comes the guy. I can't see me dot. What, how did he not see us? Some guy in there working on something that explodes as well. Uh, right. Face the right way, please, Lara. Sugar! Okay, so I actually can't let him see me or he'll activate the machine gun. Sugar! Sugar! Yes. Oh crap. Oh. So it just activates no matter what then. All right. Well, fine. Go, go, go. Oh. Now this ain't gonna be easy. This door operates on that pass you got. Except it needs two inserted at the same time. Meaning what, exactly? Meaning, against your better judgment, try not to go killing that guy. Because we need him, yeah? Okay. So, this is where, again, we have... Surprise, surprise, two choices. Let me just take a medipack first. I've got seven. Okay, look, we're not doing too bad. It's okay. Okay, so we've got two choices here. So, Zip is telling us not to kill this guy. So, yeah, we can not kill him. Uh, I believe just use the two discs that we have. Or is it the swipe card or something? Um, and go through there. But if we do that, we miss a secret. So unfortunately, we do have to kill this guy. Very sad, but we need the secret. Oh no, sorry. It's actually if we just take out our gun and threaten him, I think he'll open the door for us. That's what it is. But yeah, no, we got to kill him. So. 
Don't shoot. Damn it. <laughs> well, but at least we get to see this cutscene anyway. Let's watch this. So yeah, if you're not quick enough in shooting him, we'll just threaten him. <laughs> and he'll open the door. So like, it, the game really designs it so that you'll miss the secret. So this secret is super sneaky. <laughs> oh, sweet. Lara, that was a bit unnecessary. Whoa. What the hell? He was coming right towards me there. That was so scary. You're going to have to find a not so pleasant way now. Through that vent. And while you've gone through it, why don't you just have a think about what you did? Right, come on. I can hear ya. There, oh, he's stuck there. You see, I've got the machine gun here, though. Woo! Woo! Oh, God. There we go. Well, this is going shocking, but I mean. Okay. Right, and all we can do is run through that machine gun. Stop it. <sighs> Flip sake. Oh! Oh god! Oh god. Ah. Oh. Damn you. Okay, let's try and lure him up. There we go. Aha! Yes. Yes. Strategy. Take that. Oh god. Uh, uh, uh. What? That's the wrong button. Wrong button. Ah! Oh no. No, no. Disaster. Wasn't expecting them. Wasn't expecting them. There we go. Gotcha. Ha ha. Right. And here we go. There is the <laughs> secret that is, in all honesty, not worth it but um do you know what we got it we did indeed okay so this is the iris here and we cannot get it uh until we bring down that kind of force field around it i wonder what happens actually if you just oh yeah okay i was just curious okay so now we have to do a timed sequence so, uh, okay, that's not the way out. Oh yeah, so we go up here. And I think this is the way you would have come in if you'd just gone the easy way. So, this is timed. So we're gonna see how I get on. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything fancy. I'm just gonna run. Woo! Oh, that was stupid disaster. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Yay! Oh, I got it. Okay. So let's check it out. It's cool, isn't it? It's really cool. Okay, and yeah, we got three out of three secrets, and this should be the end of the level. 
Oh my God, that level was so difficult and so stressful. <laughs> but yeah, we've stolen the iris now. So now we just have to basically get out of the building is the objective for the next two levels. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed my struggle. <laughs> my frustration. <laughs> These levels are so, so hard. But do let me know what you think about these levels in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.